Hey y'all. Well, this is going to be um, one of the changes that I've decided to do with my channel. It is a good change, I think. I am going to do daily oracle card readings. And um, I just decided to do this. There are so many right now that are on YouTube and I watch them all the time. And I um, do oracle card readings from time to time for people. And it just occurred to me one day, like, why don't you just start doing your own? Because I really feel like um, the messages that I do receive in the way that I go by doing things are a little unique and different. And, you know, maybe they can be for certain people. And give me my card. <laughs> give me the people's card. This is their card for the day. Stop it. Anyways, I use spirit message card. Um, Lord, not nice card. Spirit and Messages, Oracle Cards by John Holland. This is the book. Um, I'm not too much into reading the books. I really just go off of what Spirit says. So I'm going to let you all know right now how I do them. Um, if I pull a card for me today and I feel like someone needs to hear it, then that's going to be the message or the energy of the day. And I want to say this, and I hear so many, many people saying this, and this is so true. Oh, yeah. Um, ignore my hair, but I had to come on today and say this because I feel like it was the message today. And it's just, you know, I'm just getting prepared for some crochet. So, whatever. But <laughs> I really feel like I forgot what I was saying because I do that sometimes. But um, the way that I do um mine is just like if i'm already pulling cards for myself or just for um in general the whenever you see the um message is is for you it's the day even if it says august 21st and you're watching it on july the second you know two years later that is the energy that's for you for that day that is the message for you although i do believe if you're needing something for that day and you listen to it for that day that very well can be the message for you i've listened i've been looking for stuff um throughout um sometimes in the message do not you know sometimes i look for it and the message just don't come through for me for that day so um and that's just because i really believe spirit does not try to give us all the answers to everything but um spirit will give us a roadmap so that is what i believe or at least that's how spirit works with me and it can possibly work with you like that too so um i'm gonna go ahead and start and um message for today august i don't know what today is I'll put I'll put it on there. <laughs> I pull this card, and I do get this a lot. And I feel like whoever it's for, who is whoever it's for. This is the just fun card. You guys, let me tell you something. I don't like the color orange, but uh, my friend told me something like, um, "Dye your hair orange." And I was like, "Oh, I don't really like the color because she knows that I really like to do different colors and everything with my hair." But <laughs> I have been hearing the color so much often. I've been seeing it all the time. I've been pulling orange cards. I have not looked up if there's a spiritual meaning to that or not. I hope it's something good. I hope it's not a warning or anything. The reason why I'm drawn to orange. I don't know. If you guys know, comment below. Because the way my mind works, I don't know. Okay, I'm trying to remember what I was going to say. Because I had to pause this. As you guys will see, when I start to do these readings, I will get a lot of interruptions because my life goes like that. But I think I was saying something like, I might not remember to look up the meaning to orange. Have fun. Because sometimes we get so wrapped up in what's not going right, we forget to look at what is actually going right. Fun is so important for you, yourself, um, our brain, our 
mentality. It's so important to keep that balance and not just be a Debbie Downer all the time. Y'all know stress kills. And to just have fun. So go out of your way to have fun. I'm speaking to myself. I really need to do that. Just ask. Because anytime you're in a situation, sometimes we just don't think. Ask for, ask your spiritual guides. Ask in, I don't really say too much on these videos um, about things, about who I am and what I believe in. Sometimes as times as time go by, I will say certain things, but I guess you guys gonna, are going to really get to see who I am, what I believe in, what I stand for. So you'll know if you are supposed to watch these videos, but I believe in unicorns, fairies, um, <laughs> they're just all a part of your spiritual team and those are the ones that I'm familiar with right now so um ascended masters the angels I call people call God or the creator Yahweh so um just ask ask any question you want never be afraid to ask because one way that I came out of such a religious mind because I used to be afraid to ask Whereas when I was younger, I never would, but uh, I never was afraid. But I came out of that mindset because I started to ask questions and then I got the answer to it. And anything you may need, anything you want, anything you're curious about at all, just ask, you know. And it doesn't have to be spiritual all the time. Maybe there's someone close to you if you need a helping hand. Don't be afraid. Be vulnerable sometimes. And, um... Just ask for whatever you need, you know. They say closed mouth don't get fed. Hey, that's true. And that concludes the reading for today. Oh, I also do personal readings. I'm not going to remember my prices right now. They are very reasonable because, you guys, I know how it is to uh, be broke, dead broke, and not be able to afford a psychic reading. So they are very, very affordable. Come in if you um, want to know. Email me at um, G-A-B-R-I-E-T-E-T-H-3-3 -E at gmail.com. That's Gabrieth33 at gmail.com. If you want me to email you my prices, I do even have free readings also. And that is about all. Um, yes, and most of my readings will be done with these cards. Um...